I'm working hard to uh, do some other things that maybe I'll be famous for, but it's also fun to be famous for the smiley. Carnegie Mellon's public relations people love this story, you know, they think it's great publicity for the university, which everyone thinks is a very serious and, and high pressure place. So they love the idea that the smiley face was invented at Carnegie Mellon. We put our heads together and we came up with what we call the Smiley Award for technology assisted person to person communication. So that's what the smiley really was. It helps people to communicate with other people by the medium of technology. Do you have any precipitation that it would become the image of the future? Not at all. We were being silly late at night. We were sending these things around, uh, messages, and I proposed this thing. And I thought it was just another silly message that I sent. You know, I didn't keep a copy of it. And I noticed about a week later that people were starting to use it around Carnegie Mellon. Lots of people were sent putting these in their messages. This was a long time ago. I noticed uh, a couple of weeks later that we got a message back from some colleagues on the west coast of the U.S. Uh, and they were using it too now. And they were starting to make these long lists, you know, of many different uh, emoticons. I only claim responsibility for the, the colon minus and the parenthesis. Oh, the smiley face and the frowny face with the nose. Suddenly we're seeing uh, somebody said, oh, you can put an eight there and that's a guy with the glasses. And, and then within about a year, people were making whole books of these things. You know, Santa Claus and Abraham Lincoln and uh, the Pope and all. So what is the future of the smiley? Well, already we've seen that people now, lots of software grabs those things and turns them into those awful little round yellow or green face symbols. You don't like them? I, I think they're ugly. And I think it removes some of the fun from the original thing, you know, the, the challenge of what can you do with characters. The other thing is, why do I need to send you a three symbol smiley face if, you know, if I can see you here in video? And if I want to smile at you, I just smile at you. Does it deserve to be called the image of the future? It's difficult because it's now 27, 28 years old. And it's had a very good run. It was, it was the image of the future in 1982. It would be very difficult for me to say it's the image of the future today. As long as people keep sending messages that are mostly text, then I think it'll be a handy little thing. As a judge, uh, communication is very important, and uh, the four categories of this award, uh, I think, recognize different aspects of communication. I really look forward to seeing what, uh, what people have, have nominated. I don't know what to expect. A smile is something very basic. How did it change communication? It gives people an easy way to say, I'm only kidding. How did it change the world? I'm not sure it has changed the world a lot, but in, it, in a very small way, you know, maybe there's more uh, sort of sharing of the idea that, that you made me happy.